This is going to be my last Disney Investor Day trailer breakdown, and it is for Loki. So let's get into it. Get your hands up. So clearly that was the scene from Avengers Endgame where they go back to 2012 and they meet up with Loki from 2012 at the end of Avengers 1 and S. Loki in this version of that universe takes the Tesseract and escapes to we didn't know where um, but clearly he's traveling through either time and space or just space and ends up in this desert place. Um, that, that rhyme wasn't on purpose. But yeah, so here's where he ends up. All right, so it looks like these are the locals. I don't recognize them from any comics, but, like, relatively speaking, I haven't read that many comics, especially those related to Loki as a character. So if you guys know who any of, of these characters are, let me know, because I'm I, I just not sure. You're taking me somewhere to kill me. No, I'm taking you someplace to talk. Where well, I don't like to talk. But you do like to lie. Okay, so it, it took a few seconds the first time I watched this trailer. It like, took a minute. I'm like, oh, that is Owen Wilson. I knew Owen Wilson was in this series. I just didn't know who he was going to be. And like, I guess I wasn't prepared for him to look so different than he normally does. But I'm like, yeah, that's Owen Wilson. Um, yeah, it just took me a minute lie which you just did because we both know you love to talk talky, talky. how long have you been here i don't know it's hard to say you know time passes differently here in the tva what does that mean you'll catch up Glorious. Okay, um, so apparently these masks in the background are related to Kang the Conqueror. I haven't actually read any comics with this character. I know he's been in a lot of people's theories for various projects, and I know he's in Ant-Man 3. So, yeah, so if anyone knows anything about what these masks are, please let me know. I'm sorry, this isn't a very good video so far. I do have some observations coming up, though. Right here is one of them. Okay, so this is from Thor Ragnarok, this version of Loki. And this Loki has only experienced up to Avengers 1 in the MCU canon. So I guess this is them catching him up. And I've been really curious um, as to how this series would have, like, I mean, it would have emotional stakes even if it was just the Avengers 1 Loki. I mean, it still is in a way, but, like, because he's had so much growth since then. And I would hate to see that thrown all, just thrown away and, like, not acknowledge it's like, this is different now, whatever. Um, but I've always felt like some trust in Marvel in this sense, and I guess this is it coming to fruition because I'm really happy there. Like they seem to be acknowledging um, the main universe Loki past Avengers One, so that's nice. And there's Avengers One, which this Loki has experienced. <laughs> I love when he does that knife thing, I'm just saying. Okay, so this shot is probably the most talked about shot from this trailer. Um, people think that's Black Widow, um, on Vormir specifically, I think. I'm not sure it is. Maybe it is Black Widow, but like, it's not the Vormir Black Widow because her hair is different. Oh, wait. <laughs> There's Loki again. I didn't realize the first time I watched this trailer that that was Loki, and I guess I was, like, caught up in all the madness of Investor Day. But yeah, so he's clearly going to have a lot of looks in this series. Different looks. Brother. Heimdall. 
You'd better be ready. Okay, so we mentioned his brother and Heimdall. He mentioned Thor and Heimdall. Um, I don't know if that was taken out of context because we know from different trailers, Marvel throws different lines over different scenes that might not be connected. But like, I'm glad they're being acknowledged at least, like his stuff from he's done in the other movies because like it seems it seems like they're kind of separating Thor and Loki for this phase because we don't know if Loki's going to be in Love and Thunder and if he is, he's not going to have a really big part. Um, but I'm glad it's at least being acknowledged. Like, I like that Loki's on his own in this, but, like, I definitely don't want, like, everything else to be ignored. Um, so, like, development, but not, like, throwing away the past. Like, I like that. <laughs> I guess, like, at the travel thing, I don't know if he got sucked in on purpose or if it just sends him to different places each time. If it can randomly happen, if, like, it's the Time Variance Authority doing it or it's just the portal doing it, something you want to muck. Um, I'm really curious to find out. Okay, this might be my favorite part. Just like the Loki buttons. I can't read. Oh, it says Loki for president. Yes, it says that. I noticed it was like presidential button. So like, I'm like, where is this taking place now? It's like taking place all over the place, which is, I assume, I assume it's going to be like, I don't know, like the different logos, like the different letters in the logo for Loki that's switching over. They're going to be like, we're going to watch this and then we're going to watch it, the logo back and be like, oh, that's a reference to this part of the series. But I'm like, I'm just so curious as to like the Loki for president, how that's going to play into it. Because like, is this like the U.S. president? Is this like the Earth president? I would take Loki over you know who, who's in the White House right now, though. Just saying. But <laughs> come on, what did you expect? <laughs> uh oh. So that was fun. I mean, I don't really know what's going on. I don't really know any comic connections with Loki as as opposed to um. Uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I'm starting to get into it, and especially with WandaVision, I know a decent amount of that now, so I'm going to have to research this a bit before the series comes out, but I also kind of want to go into this one, like, just kind of wanting to have fun with it and, like, not really know stuff and be like, oh, cool, yay, fun. I mean, I'm going to have fun with all of them, ideally, but, you know, this one, I kind of like the idea of being surprised. Um, so, yeah, this was just really, like, it's just silly and action-packed, and, like, I don't know, I know this one's going to be a lot of fun. So um, I'm excited for this one. I'm sorry this wasn't as good as the other two reactions, but like I wanted to do it because some people wanted to see it from me. So here you go. Um, hope you enjoyed. Um, let's talk in the comments about this and all the other stuff that happened on Disney Investor Day because there was a lot. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon.